Herschel wasn't only an astronomer, he was a physicist as well. And we thought we'd turn your barn into his laboratory around turn of the century, about 1800. So you have to imagine this is Herschel's workbench. You have to imagine as well light streaming through the window, sunlight, but it, it's raining outside as, as we discovered earlier. So we'll cheat. Let me turn on a light. And this is just a prism, just a device for splitting light up into its rainbow. And Herschel was interested that different colours of light have different amounts of heat. When you warm yourself in the sunlight, you know that you're, you're warming up because of the heat from the sun. But what he did was he took a thermometer, something like this one, and he left it for a while in the blue light, measured the temperature, it heats up slowly. Then he moved the thermometer down and he put it in the red light and it heated up slightly less but it's still heated Slightly up. less. You'd yeah. have thought it would heat up more, wouldn't you? Well, you say red hot, but really it's the blue light that carries more energy. What he did then was a natural experiment. You place it just to the side of the red light, and to his surprise, it's still heated up. He's discovered a new form of radiation, and it's what we now know as infrared light. And it was Herschel's discovery of the infrared that really opened up a whole new way of thinking. The universe isn't just about what we can see not just about the seven colours that we all learn make up the rainbow. It extends way out into the infrared as well. It's a beautifully simple experiment, but it opens up a whole new universe of possibilities. I have I've this lovely sense of Haydn and Herschel meeting. It's a, such a shame we know so little about it, but Haydn's mind must have been almost kind of exploded by these new possibilities. Herschel's career seems to me to be about expansions. You start with the solar system that we know, out to Saturn, and he adds a planet to it. He doesn't remove the solar system we know, we add something, and looked with his telescopes for the edge of the galaxy and tried to work out our place in it. But it doesn't change what we know about the nearby stars. So in a sense, looking at it from a faith perspective, uh, as far as we know how Herschel had faith, Haydn certainly was grounded in his faith. So it wasn't like it suddenly blew away the idea that there was a god as sort of an all-caring creator. No, and this isn't Galileo arguing with the church. This is a steady build-up of amazing ideas. And it's that sudden sense that you get, if it had been clear, standing out under a cold, dark, clear sky, that the universe is bigger than you thought it was. What I'd hope is that that's something of what Herschel was able to give Haydn.